challenge when you're acting in a format like this because um, actors are supposed to look pretty and you you fed that in your mind. Yeah, I, I don't think it was ever a thought for me because I understood the format of this film. It is a screen life film and, you know, I was basically controlling the camera um, in a lot of the shots in the film. So the angles and stuff were all over the place. Like at one point you were literally looking up my nose, but I understood the format and this is the way the film is. And I feel like different films are, you as an actor, you have to be able to do everything and you have to, like this was also a character and a part that I was playing and, I think for me, it was never a doubt or a question because it was what the part required and what the film required. And I feel like every film has a different requirement. You know, I also done a dream girl where I had to be, you know, glamorous. And then I've done a film like this control where the character required me to look a certain way because you're following her in all the quieter moments when she's sitting at home or she's waking up or she's crying or she's drunk and, you know, messing up her own makeup and it had to be as realistic as possible. Also, I'm sure other people have asked this question, but it seems like a trilogy of uh, technology uh, stories that you've done. Kho Gai Hum Kaha, To Call Me Bay, and to this one. This one, uh, those two were um, slightly positive about the technology and its role. And second one, positive, negative, both. This one is uh, on the darker side of the potential dangers of AI and data and all that. So do, do you see a theme there or it just like an unconscious thing that these films or stories were connected to te technology? Yeah, I think the timing of it has made it seem more like that than when I was actually signing them. But I feel like it is the time that we're living in. in. It is the generation that we're living in where technology is such a big part of all of our lives. You know, And I think being you know a part of Gen Z and being a part of this generation, for me, um, stories like that are extremely relatable. It's something that I feel like is just starting to happen, um, you know, telling stories about this. And I, I like, you know, now in the romantic genre and in a thriller genre, it will be a prevalent character. I feel like it is something that exists and it'll be very hard to tell um, a story where there isn't some effect or there isn't some, you know, social, like even in Gehraiya, like a small thing, you know, with all the calling and texting and catching someone cheating and stuff now with phones and with technology, those things have also, um, you know, kind of change and evolve. So I feel like it'll be there in many stories going forward. You've said in interviews that your relationship with technology is sort of on and off. Sometimes you post more, sometimes you, you're completely away from it. Uh, working on this, uh, this film, Ananya, was there a moment where you were like, oh my God, this is dangerous. I should maybe... <laughs> um, yeah, was there any thought? Yeah, because I think it made me more aware of what we're doing or even in the smallest of things like you know just agreeing to terms and conditions allowing you know your ipads and your laptops um access to your camera and your microphone and you know allow, accept like accepting cookies every time you go onto a new website it's something that we're not aware of the repercussions of that so the film definitely made me aware of those small small things but i mean it's still back to that toxic behavior i i, I know it now but i'm still doing it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, one thing that when I spoke to Vikram, um, I, I remember that Vikram was, um, there was a phase when you, you faced a lot of trolling. And at the time, Vikram was the person who spoke very highly of you. And he said he also came from what the general perception of you was initially and changed his opinion. And it seems it has happened to the larger public as well. Now that you are on, on the other side, how do you like look at it and yeah? No, I mean, for me, um, it was something that I'm, whatever's happened in my journey, I wouldn't specifically talk about, you know, trolling and all of that, but even like films that have not done as well as we would have hoped that they did. I think everything has made me the person that I am today and the actor that I am today. So I'm grateful for everything. Uh, the way it's gone, exactly how it's gone. I wouldn't want to change my journey for anything, yeah. Yeah, because um, you were very young at that time. I, I just checked, your debut was in 2019. It was just recently, if you really yeah. look at it. If yeah. we see the pandemic years as the blip that it was, it, it's not that long that you made your yeah. debut. Yeah. So to, to grow from that to this, um, uh, was there a moment, Ananya, in, in personally for you, when you, you realized that you have grown? For the better, 
होता है ना कभी एक मोमेंट ऑफ रियलाइजेशन आता है आप अपने को देखते हैं यू लाइक की ओ आई एम नॉट द पर्सन आई वॉज ये समथिंग मोमेंट I feel like it's constantly like I'm having that moment in in like almost every week you know I'm constantly feeling like oh I'm different than I was before and the growing up is very fast uh, in our industry um so yeah I, I think for me though the the turning point would be gehraiya though I feel like my uh my look the way I was looking at acting and the way I was um looking at performances um the kind of people I wanted to work with everything changed after that film so I think gehraiya was a huge turning point for me Hmm. and also this this seems to be in a shift in the kind of people you are collaborating with vikram being one uh, or and gehraiya of course shakun batra and all was that a like a conscious shift in you that i want to collaborate with these directors because it's not from a commercial angle that you're looking at of course commercial angle is also important but you're really collaborating with directors who have a signature Yeah no I mean for me these are dream directors and I would I always would have loved to work with them I think probably the shift has happened in their mind um with you know Vikram sir when he saw um when he saw Ganaya that's when he decided um you know that he liked my work and he wanted um to bring control to me so I think the shift has happened more in their minds I've always been open and ready and willing to work with um these directors so yeah I think it's it's the opportunities I'm getting now um are a lot more uh, fruitful and I think satisfying as an actor Hmm. What was the most challenging aspect in playing Nella? Um, these characters may seem like they come from some aspect of the life that you're leading as an actor, as a prominent being on social media. Uh, what were the things like? What were the moments that you were like, "Oh, this one I have to crack like in a better way than the rest of it." I think I could relate to Nella when it came to just her life being so public and you know people having opinions and stuff on her life um and kind of just you know putting everything out there because I do feel like as actors sometimes we have to do that um but the part that I I wouldn't say it was a challenge but the part that I kind of had to like dive a little deeper into was her family life because she's someone who comes from Delhi and you know her parents run a bakery and they always wanted her to work in the bakery but she always saw more for herself so you know even though you don't see it in the film much but um building that back story and getting the way she talks right uh, right is very important because she's a lot more like uh, animated than i am a lot more crass in the way that she speaks she's a little more like khulla i would say than ananya so just getting that tone right was important and i think also figuring out all the influencer stuff because being an actor i find you know all of that real making and all very very tough like it's a proper job um to do that so that was something that was actually very tough to you know uh, figure those reels out yeah and and ananya uh, what i have noticed is that even in colony day uh, which was just recently um you have somehow you become really good in the emotional scenes the quieter moments um um of course you great in the 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 sunnier parts sunnier moments but you become like more evolved as an actor like you convey the emotions very well than as compared to the beginning so um what was the process like do you do you feel that uh, it took you some time to get there or you uh, when did you realize that you you getting it emotionally like the the crying and the emotional um moments yeah I don't know I don't know I can't really say what it is or when it changed but again I would like to go back and give credit to Gehraiya and give credit to Shakun because he really helped me build that subtext and build my process as an actor he really you know kind of um taught me how to do all of the homework how to um just figure it all out and I think that made me a much more um, actor and yeah since then with every director I've worked with I'm a full director's actor so I think just having a lot of conversations with them um you know, even in the quieter moments even though you're not saying anything there's still a lot of internal dialogue going on so to get all of that to get back stories right so stuff like that helps mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's all, it's all in the text honestly yeah uh, vikram's observation was that you have sort of come into your own you have more confidence in your um acting and you become a person uh, uh, you like yeah you you're not hesitant um in 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 the face of camera or, or something like that how would you read that observation 
No, I think every film kind of just makes me a little more confident. Um, you know, as, as you also said, I started off when I was nineteen. Um, so since then, a lot has happened. I've gotten to work with some amazing people, and you know, learn so much from them. And especially in control, um, because of the format of the film, I think it made me uninhibited. It kind of forced me to just put myself out there and uh, you know, challenge myself. Um, so yeah, I, I think a lot of confidence came. Shooting this film also because I shot this before Bay and I could see the difference I felt on the set of Bay because I felt a lot more, yeah, uninhibited. I think as an actor. Yeah, and and um, if you have to go back in like in your childhood, which was the app that sort of you signed into first and. Um, I remember I had gotten a Facebook account and I was not allowed to get one at that time and I made it like secretly and then my mom find, found out and she like really got angry at me. So then she like deactivated my Facebook account for a few years and then I could get it only when like, the legal age was. Yeah, but uh, and also as actors you're supposed to connect with your audiences um, via social media and that's a, a like a double-edged sword sort of sort of because you get good bad and ugly so how has that relationship evolved um because aajkal aap agar instagram pe nahi hai to aap hai <laughs> is the question yeah no i mean for me um you know i uh I had my Instagram account before I became an actor as well, and that time it was like more private, and it was just my friends. And I, I've always had a lot of fun with it, honestly. And I, I kind of have maintained the same thing. I keep it as real as possible. I post whatever I want. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't take it too seriously. I think that's the key. And but my relationship with social media also keeps changing. Like sometimes now I've been promoting, so I've been on my phone a lot and posting a lot because obviously I want people to. Watch the movie and tell them about the film and everything. But now I know after because it's been so back to back. There's been Bay and then there's been this. Now I think I'm gonna be taking that much needed digital detox because it does affect your mental health also, and you need to take that time off. Yeah, the film sort of gives that message that it is yeah. dangerous. The data yeah. and how it just plays with your mind and it's something that you just can't get away. Uh, yeah, with. yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's there um you have worked with uh, vihan i think uh, for the second time uh, you said you shot this one first and uh, call me bay came later so has had that any relationship like in the sense ki uh, because you worked with him on that uh, call me bay happened uh, where two of you were playing husband and wife uh, something like this happened I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it just happened like that, you know. Uh, and he's a wonderful actor. We were actually in school together, but we didn't know each other properly in school. We didn't really, uh, you know, meet that much when we were in school. So it just so happened that uh, it's worked out in this way. And we did this one first, and this way, kind of thing. Or, uh, you know, boyfriend girlfriend, and these couple influencers. And I think that actually helped us a lot. Um, playing a married couple in Call Me Bay because we we were already quite comfortable with each other and we knew each other well enough by then. So it's just so happened that they that these two happened back to back. Yeah, and and yeah, um, you work with Bikram, you work with Shakun. What what are what kind of stories you want to like um tell in future? And um, what kind of directors you want to collaborate with? I have a long, long list of directors I want to work with. I want. I got a chance to work with Zoya. Um, you know, even though she didn't direct Koga Ham Gaan, she was like a very like she wrote the film and she produced the film. So I would love to be in something that she directs. Um, I got to do a song for Karan in uh, Rocky Rani, but I would love to you know be a heroine of his, a proper heroine. Uh, and I'd love to work with Sanjay sir. Um. Uh, he's like an all-time favorite. So I mean, there's a long, long list. I'm just naming a few. Um, and the kind of stories I want to tell, I just want to keep challenging myself and growing as an actor. There are genres that I haven't explored yet. Like I've not done a hardcore romantic film. I want to do something in the horror space because I love watching horror movies. Um, yeah, I've not done something that's like a period film, or I've not done a biopic yet. So I think there's like a lot of things. Uh, Left. You love watching horror. I Bina love watching horror. देख लेते हैं. नहीं नहीं नहीं. I get scared, but I love getting scared. Okay, okay. And uh, Ananya, is there something that you're shooting now? Call Me Bay has been uh, like uh, given a go ahead for um, for a second season, um, uh, and the response has been really amazing. So streamer B, आपने it seems like you're living in Ananya's world right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, and I mean, outside this, it feels like that. No, that's really sweet, and it's 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 like you know, I was very nervous before Call Me Baby came out because I didn't know how people would take to it and how they would react because it's a very whimsical you know kind of show, and it's it's a tone that that can also you know. go wrong so i was nervous but then you know people have really really loved it and enjoyed it like i was reading yesy that it's still number 1 uh, and it's been over a month since it came out so these things obviously make you feel very um uh, grateful and happy and it also makes me feel um like i'm making the right choices uh, so it it validates me i think as an actor as well uh, i'm shooting something now that i've been shooting for a while which is going to come in theaters next year um in march or april they haven't announced it officially yet Uh, and i'm starting my next film early next year yeah in feb okay and how is the response of the parents to these back to back projects very happy i think my mom has seen it twice now and she's probably going to be watching it again i think uh, my dad's shooting house full right now so i think he'll also be watching it today but they obviously very happy and very proud because we get, get to see your parents uh, now thanks to karan johar <laughs> and the show yeah yeah briefly yeah. you make also um, you make some appearances appearance. on that yeah. so uh, i mean are they happy with the way show has like taken them like yeah i i i'm now the my mom's on doing season the season 3 is coming out which is really amazing you know uh, not so many shows get renewed uh, beyond season 2 so that's cool and this time it's delhi versus bombay so it's going to be a lot of fun Okay, thank you so much, Anya, for a lovely interview. You're great in the movie, and the movie is, of course, uh, very interesting, very um, new for for the, the Indian audiences. Was that a fear for you that it's a kind of a new technology? Uh, will people get it? Because everything is told through a screen. Yeah. No, I mean I've seen films like Searching and Missing, and it takes some time to get into. But then once you know, you kind of. finish the film you realize what an experience it is it's such an immersive and different uh, kind of film so i i never doubted that you know people would be intrigued to watch it like i would have been intrigued to watch it if i was on a part of it as well so i i never doubted that 